<clears throat> this is cool. I mean, I, I like a lot less uh, negative energy. Today. Yeah, now that Bridget's gone, I feel like we should go back to this. I don't know why we even brought Bridget on. Yeah, like there, there's a lot of, you know, we're building each other up. Yeah. You know, like instead of getting constantly brought down, getting constantly berated, you know what I mean? Like this is, I like this dynamic, so. That 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 uh, hurt woman talk always, <laughs> always like brings our mood down. Yo, what is going on and welcome to another episode of the Urban Pitch Podcast, the beautiful game of life, part of the Belief Network. I'm Ramsey Abushala, editor of UrbanPitch.com. We got the better half of the co-executive directors of Vibes in the Building. Throwback Vibes. This is throwback. This is the OG uh, OG setup we got here. Um, Just me and Julio. Bridget, uh, we lost her along the way. She's... She's in Mexico. She's doing her. She's she's on vacation. She did not get deported, guys. Yeah. <laughs> she decided to go on vacation. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That was absolutely Shout out to Bridget. unhinged start to the podcast. But you'll notice for those of you watching on YouTube, that's my twin in them. Julio and I are matching. Uh, shout out to Icarus FC. Uh, they sent us a couple of jerseys that uh, will be featured in the upcoming Icarus Cup uh, this weekend in Philadelphia. Um, they're doing a big this year. So um, they've, they've had previous installments. They Earlier this year, they had one in Austin. They had one uh, last year as well. But this year, they're doing a big. And they did a big with the jerseys too. Um, I think, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I think it's like 81 different jerseys that they have. Oh, wow. All unique jerseys. Our team or, better win. Whoever wears our jersey better win. Yeah. So Whoever you guys are. So, th- I mean... This this is this is legit though. This is like I mean I, I really li- like how the, how it turned out. I mean we got the the, the sponsor, um, um, and I mean the, the colors just just work. They pop. Uh, it got kind of got like a retro seventies vibe going. Um, I love the collar. So shouts to Icarus. We've been we've been um, rocking with them for for some time now, um, and you know they they they're 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 doing big things. They're doing big things, and so these. I mean, they got some some A-list designers to work on the on the jerseys too, um, and each one is unique. So in previous years, they kind of had like a template system where they just kind of made it easy and, and and a lot of different colors, which were dope. But this year, they're taking it a step up with individual jerseys, uh, jersey designs, which to me is is crazy. Um, but Julio, you know who didn't have individual jersey designs for uh, oh. for their, uh, their their jerseys? Oh, shocker! It's a uh, MLS. MLS. Did you see the? Uh, <laughs> the Marvel uh, uh, pre-match jerseys that they uh, that they unveiled today. They yeah, they, it looks it looks yeah, it doesn't look. It looked like they had one person came up with a great idea. They thought that was a great idea. Like, all right, let's do it for. It was a copy and paste yeah. design already that they copy and pasted across the league. So and we've um, talked about this with the, with the especially with Adidas running the show in MLS. It's always the same thing. Is is it for like the the parley plant, parley jerseys? The yeah. parley jerseys, yeah. So like, it's all the same thing, like. I wish it was a little bit more unique per team, like different team, different Marvel character, opposed to the same thing just with a di- just with the team's a badge on it. So yeah, and and you think like this collaborate? It's a big, pretty big deal. Like Marvel is, I mean, they've owned the like movies for the last what like decade, uh, like going back to when when did Iron Man come out? Like two thousand seven, two thousand eight, oh nine maybe? Was, I don't know. Like yeah. two thousand seven, I think. I think. What's the main um, like, actor's name? Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, I think it was 08. I think yeah, it was Rob, like the summer. Yeah, Rob, Robert was sober by then. Yeah, yeah, he made his comeback. Yo, yo, he made his comeback hard. Yeah, Robert, yeah. Robert, Robert Downey Jr. He was down bad. He made the he made a renaissance with with Iron Man. Um, so they, I mean, this is so that's what like more than 15 years if it's yeah. if it's 08. Um, yeah, yeah. Wow, they've they've owned the movies. Like everything has become a Marvel movie in some way or another. Um, and so when they announced the the collaboration, it was like, oh, you know, like this could be this could be really cool. There's a lot of potential for you know creativity for for different you know like. And there's a word, it's just like it, it's a little his little shield, and then it's a Captain America shield on step and repeat. They copied and pasted it, and then every team has the same yeah. design. Bet online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchups reports for baseball, boxing, golfing, and more. Bet online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games, available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use promo code BELIEVE, that's B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online, where the game starts. You know, we talked, uh, Urban Pitch has an article about the about the 94 uh, bootleg World Cup jerseys. 
Like, yeah, the, yeah. Like those those cars. Where were those guys that they made those designs? Because yeah, like it could have been it could have been something like you remember like uh, if you see the Brazil ones that they will have like R nine on the side of it. Right. So it, I, I wish it was something something like that. More like more like a magazine opposed to just one little copy yeah. and paste all around all the jersey. And so it's just I mean I get it. It's easier, right? Easier in production. Easier like with um, um, like it's it's more sus- like sustainable in the fact that they don't have to be creating all these different jerseys but also it's unsustainable in the fact that dude who's gonna buy these jerseys these are like uh, what landfill are these gonna these gonna be in the middle of the pacific ocean in in four years (laughs) like you know what i mean like these jerseys are gonna be somewhere in the middle of the pacific like a turtle is gonna be choking on you know like hey no chill (laughs) that's not what i said that's not what i said no i'm joking no Um, adidas adidas has don't get me wrong We've we've raved about some of the jerseys beginning of the season and some of the jerseys we like, like the uh, Seattle uh, Bruce Lee jersey that you yeah, like so much, yeah, yeah. Um, and different jerseys that we've seen, the the uh, Colorado Rapids uh, city uniform, yeah, like yeah. Uh, so. There's, there's been a lot of great ones. It's just I feel like when it comes to these uh, concept designs, I just don't like that it's so uniform across the league. One one team has it, and then the rest of the teams have to use it. So just don't appreciate that. I wish it was more unique yeah. per team. Per uh per uh, city, different Marvel character, um and then we can talk about what Marvel characters what better right so exactly, like it could yeah. be a little bit more thought and put into this yeah I mean just think about how many different Marvel characters there are I don't like, even know I don't watch 20, those seven movies there's 29 teams in MLS you could have assigned one to each team you know what I mean there's like 29 Avengers you know what I'm saying like like I don't even know if that's that, that's true I'm not a big Marvel guy either but I was, I wanted to say characters I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be Marvel. <laughs> Yeah, you can say Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Superman, also um, no, Superman is Marvel. No, Superman no. is not See? Marvel. <laughs> See? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's DC. That's uh, there you go. like don't get shout it. out next year. Let's get DC on yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, DC for DC United. There you go. I mean, See, you know, like these are free ideas we're, we're pitching. Hey, here, but, come on, holla but, at us. Email uh, <laughs> Julio and Ronzi at Urban Pitch. Like, yeah, we'll, yeah. Give, we'll, we'll help you out. Um, but I mean, it is frustrating because I think Adidas has stepped it up in their uh, jersey designs across the league. Like this year, uh, there wasn't like a single templated design that we saw like in in like the same format, just repeated over different like colors. Um, and I thought that was a major step forward. But to see something like this, yes, it's a special edition jersey. Yes, it's a one off, and they're not even going to be wearing it on the field. But still, like you know, for as as like, as, like fans, you you want like. I don't know who's gonna buy that that jersey. It's 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 interesting, but it is Fourth of July. Um, it's a middle aged gamer living in his mom's basement. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is it is Fourth of July themed, I guess. So they have that going for it. This this episode will be coming out on the Fourth of July. Um, Julio, that you know, look at this segue. Like, this, this yeah, bro, that, that was perfect. Um, Fourth of July. Um, we're gonna be at the LAFC LA Galaxy game later today. Um, you guys will know um, how that that'll turn out. Maybe. Yeah, if you're, LA, listening LA, this, if you're listening to this after Tuesday. Um, but um, LAFC 2-1. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a bold prediction. Um, Fourth of July, America, um, U.S. national team. Um, both have a busy summer ahead of them. You know, the men's side's in, in the Gold Cup, coming off a Nations League win. And the women are about to head out to, to, to New Zealand and Australia for, for the World Cup. Um, but with this being the 4th of July, we thought, you know, we could talk about some of our favorite, um, not only uh, U.S. national team moments, but our favorite, favorite jerseys uh, from over the years. Um, uh, Julio, let's start, with, let's start with the kits since we're on, on jerseys. Yeah. Uh, what, what are some of your favorite jerseys from, from over the years? The, the Stars and tripe, uh, Stripes 94, the denim color wave. Denim, yeah. yeah. Uh, those are great. Uh, only 2010, the one with the stripe just all coming down the left-hand side. The, the one going straight down, yeah, right? White. Yeah, not the uh, sash. No, 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 no sash not the sash. Uh, and the Where's Wal- uh, I don't, the Waldo. It, it, there's a lot of online people call it different things, but like the Where's Waldo uh, jersey, those are my three favorites. Mm, yeah, I mean, the Waldo, I like. I oh, the said, Total 90 one as well, though. The, yeah, that the Total 90 was with the, with the, 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 the number in the center so, with yeah. the circle, that's, that was crazy. Nike, Nike really um, did their thing with that one. Um, I... I've been on record saying that the Where's Waldo kit's overrated, not because it's bad, but be, just because everybody, that's like the first one that people talk about. But also, I will acknowledge that that's a good jersey. Like it's that, a great jersey. Yeah. I mean, the candy cane stripes, you know, like it, it hasn't been like the, the hoop design is like something that's 
unique across um, soccer, like Celtic um, are, are known for that. Um, even uh, a, a team like Vancouver, they have a singular one that, yeah. that goes you know around. But um, that's something that I think it was like a what made that cool for me was that it's like an iconic design in so- across soccer jersey um, um, across the world. And but we made it our own in that like you know it, it ties into America and like the, the American flag. So. I always like when they kind of are able to do that where it's like, you know, it's not just a sash or it's not just, you know, a Chevron design. It's, it's something more that it ties into the, um, the, 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 the culture and all that. But, uh, those are all good picks. Uh, some of my favorites. Um, I love the, um, the women's <sighs> Argentina one is pretty sick too. Which one? Uh, the women's Argentina, uh, world cup Jersey. The, is it purple? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're talking about we're talking about U.S., bro. I know. I just wanted to put it out. <laughs> but I gave, I, I gave no, it that was the, uh, oh the women's Argentina yeah. one. Yeah, this I wanted year to give Adidas, Adidas some some credit. Yeah, like, yeah, okay, okay. But you already gave uh, the the denim jerseys were Adidas. Yeah, the denim the U.S. ones. Um, but they had they came out with like a, a, a women's specific um, national team uh, um, jersey. I think it was. Um, all right, so not 2015, 2011. It was 2011 all for right. sure. And it kind of had like a high collar that was like popped up with a V-neck. And like, it's not something I would wear, but I just thought that was like super unique and definitely something that was like you hadn't seen before. It almost definitely. looked like a, um, like a, uh, like a martial artist type, oh. um, like, you know, like something like you wear, uh, for, for judo or like, I don't know, like just yeah. like something that like, it was crazy. It didn't look like a soccer jersey. And that's why, like, I mean, I, I would look ridiculous wearing it first of all, but, um, just like, I thought that was a super unique, uh, design. Another one is they had that special crest for the hundredth year anniversary. Oh yeah. Um, you know what I mean? The I think one, it was it right to the 1930s world cup. Yeah. Yeah. That was sick yeah, as well. Yeah. It was just Plain white with the crest. With the crest, and the crest was it was different. It wasn't the U.S. crest. It was like the yeah. the it had a bunch of stars on it. That that one is super cool. That I was love sick. that one. Um, and then um, I do like the um, some of the more recent ones. The um, not the most recent away um, or the World Cup away, but the one before that. Um, it was it, I have it's the one that I have. It's like a kind of like a V neck, but with as like a. Um, a, a, like a pattern. It's in a, the way the blue jersey and it has the Nike swoosh logo on it. Oh, right. So I think that one, that one's super cool too. Uh, I think it was 20, 2020, I think it came out. Yeah, so um, is there any like trash uh, US jerseys that you wanted to, to, to shout out? The blue one they have now. You don't like the blue? I like the blue I don't one. Like, I, I don't like it. I, I like think, the white one. Um, the one the white one have right now is just it's plain. No, Simple. that one, you were sh- you're you're no, I, I saw, I saw, I saw the one Nick, with the center crest. Yeah, I saw it at Nikki Sports. I kind of like it. No way, yeah. dude! You can't switch up like that. We were well, trashing it together. Uh, I know, the but World then I went to Nikki Sports. I went to go buy a Salvadorian jersey in the American Salvadorian American. So I went to go. I, I went to go look at the American one. <laughs> I like too high for my blood, but I like it. Mm, uh, I don't know. I it's it's Nikki weird. Sports got to got to make a layaway plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got you on the friends and family. Yeah, friends deal. and family. Yeah, yeah. Shout, out, shout out to Nikki's. Shout um, out to Nikki's. Um, okay, so how about how about do you have, is there like a singular U.S. national team moment from the men's or women's side that that sticks out to you? Yeah, especially that 2010 World Cup when Donovan makes a goal against, against Algeria. Algeria. Oof. Yeah, that yeah, was crazy. I, I, so uh, that was a year. That was the summer before I went to go play in Arizona, um, and uh, my my parents made me get a summer job. So I could take some money to to college. So I was working. Uh, my mom used to work at this place called Furco. Basically, all the desks for uh for high schools, they made them there. So like, so all, you're the guy sticking the gum. Yeah. Underneath so we'll, pre pre. No. So yeah. basically, I'll, I'll go to every different the newer high schools and install all these chairs. Make sure I, uh the floor plan like how many chairs per room. So mm-hmm. imagine that was my whole summer job, like filling up schools with it or whatever. So like I I, I had my phone. I believe it was a BlackBerry with the touchscreen BlackBerry. Okay. And I was watching the game there, um, running up my parents' data plan. Was it the one that clicked when you touched it? I believe so. Like, like, like it wasn't like a, t- it was like a, a touchscreen that like went, like it was like a buttons on the touchscreen. You know what I'm talking about? No, 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 no. It was, it was just like. It was just a regular touchscreen. The, the, the first, because they were trying to compete with the iPhone at the time. Right, yeah, yeah I remember. Before I remember. BlackBerry went all the yeah. way down. So whatever. So I was watching the game and then, um, Trying to do my job, probably was doing my job not correct at all. That's weird. And then um, uh, we were losing, and I was like, "Ah, oh, this game's over. I don't, I, we're not gonna qualify." Right. Uh, I was yeah. like, "America, no." And then Donovan, like I said, the the play just like it, you like, oh, 
oh, yeah, it oh, was building up slowly, oh, building slowly, up so slowly, slowly yeah. and then yeah. they miss it going like, Shit, and then right. you're like, oh, <laughs> and then the call too, the yeah, dude, yeah. Oh and then God. like I'm at work and it was like, what's wrong? I'm like, uh, you oh, know, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I stubbed no, my toe on no, the desk. <laughs> no, so like the U.S. court and everybody were like, we, uh, all the guys were working there. Um, so I was only a direct employee to the company. The rest were just temps. Oh, okay. So me and the temps started celebrating, but my manager got mad at all of us. <laughs> I get back to work. I'm like, whatever. You America. What did you say? Did you say the white manager? No, no, no. My ma- my manager. Oh, you said my manager. My manager, yeah. Uh, you said the white manager. Uh, he, I was like, shout okay. out to him. No, he was African-American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it, I remember vividly because I was just I remember like that game just like, man, like from being sad to being at an all-time high, yeah. it was great. Yeah. Yeah, that was. I mean, that's probably the the I, like defining moment. That or maybe Pulisic's uh, groin goal against uh, Iran. Oh, the one that 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 you know he put it all out on the line. Um, those I think are the two kind of like standout U.S. Uh, moments um, on the men's side. Beating um, Spain in the Confederations Cup, two thousand. What was that? Eight. I thought it was, I was going to say twenty ten. It like was going to the 2010 World Cup because oh, okay. you know it's two years prior to right. the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was yeah. a Confederation okay. Cup. Yeah. yeah, that was a huge. That was that was like the biggest win probably um, up until. Altador like, putting the body on Ramos, yeah. turning and shooting, scoring, and then they, all of a sudden everybody was saying, "Ah, oh, that nobody cares about that." You yeah, know? Like, now that's yeah, you know. whatever. Yeah, yeah right, right. And it was a young American roster, so that yeah. was like the first American roster that made you like we could be a powerhouse in this in this game if we will want to. Right. Yeah, I mean, those those are the kind of the building blocks to, to where we are now. Uh, for me, I think um, in, in terms of like just being in, in person for the stadium, I, I brought this up last week, but um, at the World Cup 2019 um, the, against England in the, I believe it was the semifinal match. Um, it was, I think it was a 1-0. One, one we had a lead. Um, we conceded a penalty. And I thought I was done. Like, I thought, you know, this was – it was late in the game, I think. I don't remember exactly the time, but second half, I'm pretty sure. And then Alyssa Nair comes up with the save. Like, literally, I was on the opposite side, um, and, like, I saw her – like, I had a straight direct line view of her, like, putting her hand out to stop it, and literally I just lost my mind. Like, literally <laughs> – like, like, you know, it's one of those, like, moments when you're in the stadium and you just, like, like just, like, compl- lose all composure. And then you're, like, you're like kind of, like, like, oh, okay, like – you relax. You gotta relax. Like, <laughs> yeah. You've been here before. Like, like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, wow, like, uh, I'm, uh, sorry, that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> no, de- <laughs> definitely. And like, and, like, what people don't realize, so much soccer is coming to the U.S. Even we, we, Next we, few years we think about busy. it, but, like, we have, the, we have the Gold Cup going on right now, uh, Copa America, America Cup, uh, where we're going to have Argentina, Brazil, like, the best of the best, with their best of the best, trying to win that cup. Club World Cup, too? Yeah, Club World Cup. Like, no, the U.S., I'm saying the World Cup. Club America, uh, Gold Cup, all gonna be in the U.S. The Club World Cup is in the U.S. Yeah, too. Yeah, so like we're like the point. The thing is, so much soccer coming to this country. This is is gonna be great for all 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 of, all of us Americans that have been fans. But now we're gonna have more fans coming in. It's gonna be a party. Yeah. Um, speaking of Gold Cups going on right now, um, <clears throat> U.S. is playing right now. Um, or obviously we can't talk about it, but um, they, they they are coming off a tie against Jamaica. A lot of people were a little Jamaica underwhelmed. Jamaica should have won that game. Yeah, you know Jamaica. They have a pretty solid squad. They missed penalty. Um, yeah, they and had a, a lot of chances. Ha- had a lot of chances, and we didn't look very convincing either. Um, a lot of people are complaining about the roster because it is a bit of a you know B level, C level. Like this isn't our strongest side, um, mostly because the the Gold Cup is going to go on until you know. The, the the middle of the summer when all the European guys are going to start coming back to camp. They want to give new guys a, a, a chance, but it is a very heavily MLS-based roster, yeah. uh, which people were critical of, you know, from the get-go, but people are always going to be critical about, uh, like, MLS-heavy rosters. Um, like, the the initial reaction from, from some people, right, uh, some U.S. men's national team fans was that, MLS players should not even be considered for the World Cup. That's what people are saying. Like, do you, do you agree with that? No, um, no, I, I don't think we should have a heavy MLS roster. Right, but we have talent out here. Yeah, uh, Cal, uh, Cowell from San Jose. Uh, Kate Cowell. Yeah, he. I think he he should be taken. Not. I don't think he's ready to start. But, um, like 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 Brazil brought a. A Ronaldinho phenomenal on just like so you can see like what's expected from the senior team. You have all this talent in the world, but like 
here you're now you're playing with the best of the best what the country has right now yeah. and what we expect of you i hope we we can bring at least three young guys that are from mls that are are gonna be the future but i believe we have too much people in europe playing in big teams um fabricio's uh, reporting on them way of going to juventus like a lot of people going right, to these big teams right, right. our roster should be based on them because right. they are the future they are what we have right now and that's the best we have right now mls even though we're growing at a fast pace we're not there to be a, a league that has elite, elite talent. Messi's coming through, but it's going to be some years before we have the best talent yeah. here in America. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think that's a good point, right? And you, you mentioned Brazil. Like, Brazil is still taking, like, this is a, a country with some of the best talent in the world. And they're still taking a handful of guys from uh, Brazilian Serie A to the World Cup, you know, various, you know, different competitions that they're bringing their best players for. A handful of those guys are still coming from, you know, Flamengo, Palmeiras, some some of these, you know, um, Brazilian teams. So if Brazil is going to like, you know, it, that doesn't make sense um, for for if they're if they're going to deal with all the talent that they have in Europe to to completely like we're, Brazil's on another tier than than we are. And so if they're doing it, you know, it doesn't make sense for us to completely write off MLS just because we have a handful of players playing in in Europe. And and, and you said it before, like there's going to be players that we bring on. They're not going to. We all know that they're not going to play. You said the last World Cup. We talked about this. Yeah. But I feel like those rosters should be for the for that generational talent. That for some reason they might not pan out. Like uh, when uh, the German guy had the U.S. team, um, drawing blanks. Which guy? He took Julian Green. Um, oh, a Klinsman. Klinsman. Klinsman had Klinsman had uh, the U.S. He took Green, thinking he's going to be our next futuristic player. Yeah. It didn't pan out. But but you still got to bring these young guys just in case. Um, but Green was playing in, in Germany, no? He was playing for time? Bayern Munich, I believe, at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for the, but, he, yeah but he, now he didn't. I'm saying, like, that was supposed to be the player carrying the, the torch of the best player because at that time we didn't have a lot of players in Europe, and he was playing in Bayern, and he was a German, uh, right. German-born right. coming to America yeah. bef- um, before we had a, a bunch of those coming in. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, I believe that that uh, 24th, 25th roster spot should be – given to the people that are not going to play, but young talent that you see a future playing in future World Cups to come. Yeah, but also still, we still have main guys on the team, like Walker Zimmerman, MLS guy. That's, I mean, that's our starting center back. I don't think he's... I don't, I don't th- you don't think Walker Zimmerman's the best, one of the, the like, no, the top three American center back? We, 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 have, we have better, like, uh, Brooke, I love Brooks. But you think John Brooks is better than yes, Walker Zimmerman? Yes, yes, I do. That's crazy. John Brooks, Richardson is, is Brooks coming. Brooks lost his starting job. Like, Brooks was, like, Brooks, completely out of form. Uh, uh, no, because the coach didn't like him. Now we brought that same guy back. But um, we have Brooks. Richardson is, is coming, uh, coming to be a real important piece, uh, team. Uh, uh, Neil. Neil's a young guy, but I feel like for the World Cup, around the World Cup, he should be ready to have that starting spot. I see Richardson and... Neil's, uh, Neil's on the Galaxy, though. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, he's, he's, he's not going to be... If, Hopefully, guys, he doesn't mess it up uh, and send him a year too late, like they sent that Ahu. But yeah, yeah. Um, like he's gonna be a guy that's gonna be in Europe. He's gonna be a guy. Hopefully, by the World Cup, um, he's gonna he's gonna be what 21, 20, he's, 21. Yeah, yeah. And a, a lot of players at that time is like they're starting and they're bigger teams. And he looks like a talent. He looks composed. He looks like he belongs when he's played with the U.S. men's national team. So um, that's another guy. We are we are heavy back there. Uh, Robinson. I like Robinson more than uh, uh, Zimmerman. If we're gonna talk MLS, yeah, uh, he was coming off a uh, Achilles injury. Yeah, but like, right? and and he would he would have been probably the starting center back along with. But I mean, Tim Ream came out of kind of nowhere. Um, so to, another to, baller, yeah, yeah. So, but he, I mean, he's not gonna. No, he's thirty five. He, hopefully, is he thirty five? I thought he's like 32, 33. He looks 35. He does. Like, yeah. Uh, White skin don't crack well. <laughs> <laughs> it's the man bun. Yeah. The man. Uh, we did have two man buns starting at the World Cup, which is too many man buns. Uh, yeah, too many man buns. We got to uh, figure that out. Yeah, so Zimmerman maybe shave it off. No, but, but I'm not saying Zimmerman's bad, though. I think, dude, I think he, he proved himself to be a solid center back at the World Cup. I thought he did, you know, pretty... pretty. Yeah, but I, I think there's more talent coming out. Did he, was, Pipeline. Was it, did he concede the penalty to, to Bale against Wales? Was that him? I don't remember who it was. I think it might have been him. A long time ago. Everything's yeah. blurry. Yeah. It wasn't Aaron Long. It wasn't Aaron Long. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Long, yeah. Hey, I love him, man. I hope he comes back to the LAFC. We're struggling. We need, we're having, we, we put uh, Ily Sanchez to play last man, That's last game. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Murillo's hurt. 
Um, Maldonado was playing right back, I believe. What's, what's going on? What, what happened to the other, uh, other last man? Palencia? No, so it's, it's, it's uh, Cellini. Mm -hmm. He's still there. Yeah. Murillo's hurt. Yeah. Aaron Long is gone. Um, so, oh, well, he's in there with the U.S. And um, so it's just Maldonado and Maldonado, Cellini, and Murillo. But Murillo's hurt. Yeah, like. Did they bring another guy in? No, they did not bring another guy in. But, but I'm saying, like, we, 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 had, we had a Maldonado playing right back, and we had Palacios playing in front of him. Like, we're, the roster's real thin right now. Yeah. For a roster, they thought we were going to – they didn't let Maldonado go with uh, Honduras because how thin our roster was. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Um, but we should have kept Aaron Long and sent Maldonado out. <laughs> yeah. It's, now you're climbing for, for, for a week or something now. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> I think Maldonado would have helped Honduras more than Aaron Long is helping yeah. the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but let's go elsewhere in in the Gold Cup. Uh, you know your 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 boys, El Salvador. Uh, uh, tough man. loss to, to Martinique. Yeah, Martinique. They do have a lot of second division players in France, but that's not an excuse. We had no idea how to go forward. Um, the Mexican media came out with a with, with a. They were talking about the Mexican team, but I'm, I'm gonna circle it back. Um, they talked about how uh, the reason the Mexican coaches just got fired. Um, right. He was trying to play that tiki taka. Be like, how if you don't have no players? Right. Same thing I feel about El Salvador. How can we play tiki taka soccer like that freaking triangle, that beautiful game, like that perfect football? If we don't have the players, the uh, the two center mids that we had, no, uh, not Landa Verde. Landa Verde is a baller. He was breaking up plays, but the other one I forgot his name already. Um, I, if you go back to my Instagram, I cut, I cursed him out. Um, he did not know what the heck he was doing. I seen, I seen you. You wanted a little rant. Yeah, uh, he did not yeah. know what the heck he was doing. Uh, we have, we have a right. Uh, I think, I believe he's in the right side. They call him the next, the Salvadorian Messi. He holds the ball way too much, bro. <laughs> like trying to dribble between side players every single time. That guy was pissing me off. Um, <laughs> he took that name to his head. Uh, too much to his head. <laughs> um, Tamakas did good. Our center back Savaleta from uh, LA, uh, LA Galaxy yeah. did play the well, play an amazing game. Um, they got Savaleta and Escaleta, I think is the other guy named. Pretty similar names. <laughs> <laughs> that guy did good. Salvadorian guys. That, that, that guy did good as well. Uh, who was our left back? I forgot his name already. I forgot his name, but yeah. So other than that, like. Uh, so it's, it's one loss, right? Uh, but it's about, we, all right, so the first, if you see the game, the first 12 minutes, we had chances of scoring, but like we couldn't score. Yeah. All the chances. And uh, Martinique. Twenty minutes in, they have two chances, two goals. Who who's uh, the other teams in? in uh, we we have we have Costa Rica and I believe another island team. I believe. Okay, so with that loss, is is making it out of that group? Is that still? I doable? I don't I don't even want to make it out the group with the team we have. Like yeah, you were you you had high hopes go heading into the yes because like all right, so a year ago they gave us hopes so they played beautiful, but then then shout out to through the end. They came out with a stat that we haven't won against since last July. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all haven't won since last July. No, they haven't won since last year. So the World Cup qualifying was just... They lost, I think, the last three games. Oh, man, that's crazy. They haven't won a game. I think they've tied a few games, but not. And that's what I think. It should have been a game that, to boost your confidence. Right. Like, right. They played well for the first 12 minutes, but then like two silly passes. That center man, I think his name was Osorio. He gave a square ball to his left back, which as a kid they teach you no square balls right, in the back. Right. The guy, the guy stole it, went straight in for a goal. So I don't know, Salvador, Hugo Perez. I I feel like uh, the opposite to the opposite to the U.S. The U.S. has a a, a great team. We, we got bad a, coach. We got a, we got to switch. Yeah, El Salvador has an amazing coach. We're halter to Salvador. Yeah, he will do great. Some cash there. considerations in oh there. Oh my god! Straight yeah. up trade. No, just trade. Who, straight up, you think? You think like you when Doc Rivers got sent away from the Celtics? <laughs> <laughs> they traded him. Yeah, yeah. They, they had to, right? Because yeah, he's like off contract yeah, or something. Yeah, definitely. Right? So uh, <laughs> I think, and we get one, one, we 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 get uh, we get Hugo Perez. We get a, we get the Roldan. Maybe the other Roldan. Yeah, yeah we get the yeah. other Roldan. Also, yeah, he, the left back with Roldan. He tried to give the pass to Roldan, uh, and uh. then the guy stole it. Roldan had a subpar game as well. Um, we need the we need the older brother. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll send Berhalter and Roldan for Hugo Perez and yeah, and call that's it, it even. call it even, call it even. No, but like yeah, the, the, he's trying to switch the idea of the Salvadorian player, but I think it's too much for them to even capture 
or to know what's, what's going on. Yeah. They did not seem to know triangles passing, but they're trying to do three-yard passes like this. Right. And they're checking in when they should be checking out a little bit more. To like you want to see it open up a little bit yeah, more. Yeah. That's the way they, should be. they want to play, but they just have no idea. they just not there. Um, it was a great Gold Cup. I think, thank you, Osaburo, for coming. Great uniforms. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. see us winning a game after this. Yeah. You don't, so you think it's, it's over? Costa Rica's not going to be easy. Right. Costa Rica's always tough. And then... I think it's Nicaragua. Not Nicaragua. Never mind. Yeah. I forget. We'll but figure like, it out. We'll, 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 we'll search it out. I was so upset that I forgot already. I tried yeah. to tune it out. Yeah. Just, just, just like my exes. <laughs> so one bad game and it's just rage quit like it's over like yeah. you're not sticking with a team I, I'm blacked out you're American now you're 100% I'm like American that ki- I'm like that kid in the, the US <laughs> he, took, like, he took the, the Mexican bandana off and started kissing yeah yeah now nah, but America they're not even doing good the US didn't do good Jamaica should have won that game as well so yeah I mean yeah so it's gonna be it's gonna be tough it's gonna be I think um, I might root for Jamaica to be honest you, you're island boy this summer just trying to make it. I'm an island boy. <laughs> the woo, gua, gua. Well, we, we got it. We're still uh, working on the uh, team trip to, to, to Kingston. Yeah, so we have we to. We got to figure that out. Maybe just get off the plane, hit up KFC, and then come back. Cause My hair's growing, so I might do the little dreadlocks. Oh, he's going to come back with some braids and some beads. <laughs> You know, Snoop Lion, Julio Lion, like, I'm a, yeah, come yeah. out with a whole reggae album. <laughs> Looking like a baddie. He's going to be coming out here. <laughs> with the full Jimmy Butler extensions. Wow, wow, brother. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just to appropriate the whole culture. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, man. It's, it's appreci- There's a line between appreciation and appropriation, right? Yeah, no, yeah, it's so. pre- all appreciation. Yeah. Just playing. <laughs> Cheater prayers is doing doing the, doing the most. Yeah, <clears throat> drinking um, white rum. That's but so for, for for the U.S. now, we already have the the, the Nations League in our pocket. Um, what 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 in your mind now? Moving ahead, looking forward, what is the the, the end all goal for for the U.S. for this tournament? Having a great paper in Copa America. I'm not saying win it all, but Copa America gonna have the Argentinians with with the Messi's with with their best players, the Brazils with their. Uh, Rovinos, they're uh, they're Venetians Jr. So they have all these all these all these great players. All these teams, they something about South American teams. They want that Copa America every year. Yeah. Um. So the, the Gold Cup is a little bit different. The Gold, right? yeah, the Gold Cup, yeah. We 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 have our our well, according to Onyego, we have our C team there. <laughs> yeah, Gucci Gucci Onyego came on his podcast. Um, shout out to the crack. Um. But he, he was basically saying that our twenty two is better the, than the U twenties were beating the the MLS uh, team in camp. So, um, which is crazy. That's crazy to divulge. I don't even know if that's if he's violating an NDA or, or isn't or he the what. president of soccer now? Yeah, he's the VP of VP of uh, soccer ops. Um, but to bring it back, um, I'm, we're now it's going to be a good test. We do not have the European teams there. There are powerhouses, but we have these powerhouses. Uh, Argentina is the World Cup winner, playing in your so, home soil. But so you're talking about the Copa America that we're going to be playing in? Um, is it 2024? 2024, yes. Yeah, I'm talking about the Gold Cup this year. Oh, the the Gold Cup. Let, let's just try to make it to the final. Um, but we should be making it to the final with the team we have. Right. Um, the island teams are do, are not weak as like previous years. You do see a rise in their European players coming to play because they know it's a great World Cup opportunity. So I, I'll, I'll be scared of these uh, island teams for the simple reason that. And they do a good paper. It's gonna make bigger names um, from the from the European, like the EPLs sure. and all these uh, uh, Portugal leagues come in and can come play. So what well, you gotta watch out with them. But I, I still feel like Mexico, the U.S., and Canada should, should those, those even Canada guys. type. Yeah, the only one that did a great paper that first game was Mexico. Yeah. Mexico look good. Mexico, Mexico look yeah, good. They look some dirt. Yeah. 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 Um. There was a meme saying uh, the 14 worst. Uh, Worst humans in, in, in the world currently. Yeah. El Chapo. Um, it, was like, it was like three drug lords. El yeah. Chapo. Um, I forgot the other two drug lords' name. And they said, the 11 stars of Honduras. <laughs> That's great. Those are the Dude, 14, some angry fan made yeah. that, bro. <laughs> the 14 worst. But, <laughs> some guy who lost 20 grand on the game. <laughs> yeah. He lost funny. his house. That he was lost. funny. That was funny. He was like, <laughs> three bad people and then the 11 stars for, for Honduras. Uh, but uh, I, I think the U.S. U.S. expects to make the final. Same as Mexico. Even though we had a rough start against Jamaica, there's no way 
it, it, it's a bad look for the U.S. Yeah. if we do not make it to the final. And, and then you brought up the Copa America. People were talking about after the Nations League win that with our A roster, that a semifinal appearance in the Copa America should be the goal. It shouldn't. That should just be the bar. It shouldn't even be like an achievement at that point. That's like the bare minimum. I, I agree. You agree. I agree. So, so I think after Brazil, uh, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, Chile, Colombia, Colombia, but Chile and Colombia are beatable. So, but I mean, do you think that that's like the 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 ultimate like bar that or the sorry that's where the like the lowest expectation is set for the team that we have? Yes, that's. To me, I don't think it. Like, I think it's a, a a goal to to reach. That should be our goal, but that shouldn't be the bar. That shouldn't be. What like, should be the bar? To be competitive, obviously, make it out of the group. You think we can into the knockout round? I, look, into the like, make it deep into the group stages. Like, that should be like the the bar. That's like at least do quarterfinals. That. That's that's making out of the so at at the World Cup that bar was making out of the group stage. Like, so what I mean by bar is anything less than that would be a disappointment. I think if we lost in the, um, you know, in the quarterfinals, um, it wouldn't be like to like a Chile or depending on how the bracket yeah, goes. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, you, you know, because yeah. dude, like South America, like even like even Ecuador, Ecuador is, is, is strong. Like a lot of these South American teams, it's no, it's not like, Oh, we won. No, I'm not saying it's a walk we in the have, park. Yeah, right. But people, have, that's what people are saying. People are saying that like it should be bare minimum we're making this, the semis of the Copa America, we, which is kind of crazy. I think besides Argentina and um, Brazil, the rest of the teams in South America are beatable. I'm not saying we can beat them, but I'm saying sure. they're beatable because yeah. the, the difference between the Argentinas and Brazil compared to the rest of the teams, they have superstars. You're right. Um, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, they have stars. But does that compare to the Argent that the, like? But does the U.S. have superstars? No, but we have stars. We have stars at the level of those. You yes, know. definitely. Yeah. Right. So they're they're playing in the same league as these guys. And like previous U.S. teams that are playing like uh, Argentina, that most of their players are MLS. And let's not lie, MLS players. Like you're looking at you're looking at this Real Madrid Barcelona game as a fan. So you're seeing these players as a fan. Now, like most of these players are playing. You're not a fan. These are the people you have to compete with week in, week out. Right, so right. It, it's a whole different it's a whole different mindset. It's a whole different American player. It's a faster American player, a more skilled American player. So I think we have the team now to uh to go as far as the semifinal in the Copa America. And what might hurt us is the Bill Hart, Bill Harter, like we have no tactics in the team. Okay. The tactics might my, yeah, my right. Because that's the last push, right? Yeah, the tactics. That's, that's that's what like obviously it's not the most important thing, but that's like an X factor. Yeah, is making sure you have the team and then playing them, putting them in the right positions to succeed, um, which Berhalter hasn't quite nailed yet, as we saw in the he World Cup. He lives and dies by, by 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 his strategies, right? And, and that's hurt us in game in and game the out. The second we took a lead, all of a sudden we're playing very defensively. We're playing scared. We're giving up goals. That Wales game. The, the first two halves, you know, that the first Different. half. We were, the we were attacking half. so crazy. That was that first half was probably one of the best I've ever seen us play, at, like ever. And then the second half, we just looked like a complete, completely different team. We were scared. Yeah, um, we were playing not to lose instead of to win. Um, and so that's that's on the manager, I think. Um, but to say that it's a disappointment if we don't make this is obviously just way speculation into the future. But to say that it would be a disappointment to miss out on the semifinals, I think is a bit of an overreach. I think that's a, it's an attainable goal, but it's not like, that's not the bar that we're setting for ourselves. But it, and, um, and like, we'll be surprised if they do make it to the semifinals. No, it wouldn't oh, be. Oh, like, it's not a shocker. It's not a shocker, but it's also, it would also be a very um, momentous achievement if we did it too. It's not like we lost in the, in the quarters. It's like, oh my God, this is team. Blow it up. This is disappointing. Sure. It, would it be disappointing that we lost? Yeah, of course. It's always disappointing when we lose. Um, and uh, even against the Netherlands, like I wasn't expecting to win that game. It was a disappointing loss. It, would, it, it was a disappointing loss, but I, I think besides the mistakes we did, we did not play bad. We just got out. The team just outplayed us. Yeah. Outclassed, yeah. more tactics, more experience. You, you saw the way like they were switching speeds. The U.S. wanted to play at one speed the whole time. But, yeah, they, they, they basically slowed it down and, and picked it up on us like, like nothing. So yeah. that's, a great, that's a great learning experience, though. So I feel like that can be brought in. That's a lot to learn. 
there was a lot of young guys, and all these young guys, I believe they became men that game. Because yeah. we, we, we were in the rise, everybody was like, we're going to beat them, we can't even make it to the quarterfinals. Yeah. And it was like, uh, reality hit. Yeah, the Netherlands was like, nah, you saw it. He saw it. <laughs> um, yeah, but we'll see. I'm excited. It's going to be uh, an exciting next few years for, for this team. Um, I just hope that our guys can have better club seasons than they did, than they did this year, especially guys like Pulisic, um, who, who missed a, a lot of time. Uh, the, the Leeds guys didn't necessarily tear the, tear, the, tear the league up. So hopefully we can just continue on the up, upward stroke. Uh, so, yeah. Upward um, trajectory. trajectory. Yeah, there you go. Yo. It's crazy. So uh, um, we, we do we do we do have a lot of players coming in, a lot of players moving teams, some to bigger teams, uh Pepe to PSV, um uh, Wea to Juventus. Right. Um McKenny, there's there's a, a, a whole different bunch yeah. of rumors. Pulisic, there's a whole bunch, a bunch of rumors. A bunch of rumors. Uh Tyler, Tyler Adams to Everton, I believe. Yeah, that that's another rumor. That's too. a rumor. So um we do have a lot of American players uh moving on to bigger teams. So hopefully do they do have a better better season. Um, but the way all the Chelsea players are going to Saudi Arabia, I wouldn't be surprised if Pulisic goes there too. <laughs> like that's crazy. Like half the roster is going to, to Saudi Arabia. Some, uh, there's there's going to be a, a thirty for thirty on that. That's crazy. Because uh, so they were saying like all right, so the, so the the team that owns that Saudi team, um, I guess they're boys with Bowley. Uh, no, but Bowley, but Bowley, most of his money is invested in that firm that is owned by that Saudi <laughs> yeah, team. Yeah, dude, there's some crazy crap. Hey, that 30 for 30 is going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah we, need, we need that. Um, some, some, some documentarian has got to get on top of that uh, because, yo, like Edward Mendy is the latest guy who, who just got sent. Why? Uh, and and then he's the, in his prime. And like, the, the guy from Morocco that... Uh, Hakim Ziyech. There was a whole bidding war between Real Madrid and Chelsea on getting him. Now Chelsea gets him. Six months later, sends him to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, I yeah, I don't have the credentials to to know exactly what's going on, but I will very much look forward to watching. watching that Saudi that. money is paying. They got the they got golf involved. Yeah, Tiger Woods. You should have said yes. You fucked up. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Tiger's Tiger, Tiger's chilling. Tiger's chilling. He's got enough endorsements. Um, <laughs> um, all right. Anything else before we wrap up? Anything else you wanted to to, to bring up? <clears throat> this is cool. I mean, I, I like a lot less. Uh, negative energy today. Yeah, now that Bridget's gone, I feel like we should go back to this. I don't know why we even brought Bridget on. Yeah, like there, there's a lot of, you know, we're building each other up. Yeah. You know, like instead of getting constantly brought down, getting constantly berated, you know what I mean? Like this is, I like this dynamic, so. That 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 uh, hurt woman talk always, <laughs> always like brings our mood down. He should have never cheated. Oh my God. Oh my God. Shakira was right. <laughs> Carol G. Bichota. Like, come on now. Like, oh it's getting God. old, yo. Do you uh, have a job? Like, <laughs> kings will be kings. No, shout out to Bridget. We miss you. Yeah, no, we, we, we do miss you, Bridget. Um, we'll, we'll be back uh, with Bridget um, sometime soon. Uh, we're figuring out the next couple of weeks to schedule, but we got more coming for you. Uh, shouts to Icarus one more time for the jerseys. Uh, they, they keep us looking fresh. Um, but for Julio Monterosa, I'm Ramsey Abushala. Happy 4th of July. This has been the Urban Pitch Podcast. The beautiful game of life, part of the network. Uh, we'll catch you on next time. America. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>